Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We have a level three risk for severe storms mainly this evening. A level three risk is unusual any time of year for us, but especially this time of year. Our severe weather season we usually think of as being March through May, but we can have strong thunderstorms any time of the year. Um, and again, this is uh, an unusual threat for us for, for any time of year, especially this time of year. Let's take a look at what's happening out there in terms of our uh, the, current conditions. We do have a cold front that is moving toward the mountains and this front produced a lot of severe storms across Kentucky and Tennessee last night. A lot of severe thunderstorms. Now we're just looking at rain in the mountains but all that will push eastward. We may even see a wave of rain this morning before the storms arrive later on this evening. Local storm reports the white dots are damaging wind reports. 374 of them. 188 hail reports which is the blue dot and only four tornado reports and so um, that seems like good news but um, um, strong straight line winds can do as much damage as a tornado so everybody needs to be careful even if we don't have tornado warnings today uh, some of those winds could knock down trees and cause some serious damage large hail is a possibility for us today too let's jump on in for a future cast and uh, notice everything's pretty quiet this morning between say 9 and noon we could see a few light showers roll through mostly cloudy skies the more rain we see this morning the more stable the atmosphere will get and the harder it will be for these storms to develop notice it uh, four or five o'clock during the evening commute could be a little pop-up cell, but the line of thunderstorms that has the best chance of producing severe weather doesn't come in until say 8 to 9 p.m. through the Triangle area and then it moves eastward by around midnight. There might be some lingering storms in the south still up until around 2 a.m. Up for tomorrow, we're looking at partly cloudy skies should be pretty bright and uh, sunny and we'll see an isolated shower or thunderstorm pop-up. It's only a 30% chance for tomorrow. So for today, that red shaded area looks pretty dramatic, but it means that 30% of folks in our viewing area could end up with damaging winds, uh, possibly trees down, and only 15% could see quarter-sized hail. How much rain? We're looking at a significant amount, an average of around half an inch to a little over an inch across our area, um, and so we are under a medium risk for flooding, so um, lots of things to be careful about for us um, as we get through the day today. Uh, of course, we're looking at uh, this severe weather threat mainly during the evening starting at around six or seven and lingering into early tomorrow morning be sure to, w to download the WRL weather app and set it to alerts and turn on the TV if severe storms come through